cars are always miles down the road We must be moving faster than we know And we know We've just pulled over to get the famous shot of Van Cook. However, you can't really see it in this lighting, but it's right up here. Looks pretty cool. Before it's dry. Been down every beaten path just trying. Our friends are rocking up. They were hanging out with us yesterday, begging for food. Definitely have personalities. Let's see what else for today. It's officially been one week on the road, so cheers to that. Um, Yes, there is a sock hanging up behind me. We've got washing that hasn't really been drying at all. So we are going to random measures to dry different things. I think it's about maybe 8.30ish. We're just taking it slow today because we've got a big drive to Milford Sound, which is exciting. Um, I think the drive is four hours. We're currently just out of Queenstown. Um, and yeah, the drive today should be good, hopefully. Honestly, you can't go wrong with a view like this. Like, <laughs> Justin's got a friend. But just, like, how freaking cool is that? The reflection on the lake is getting me, like, oh, that is so beautiful. This place is called Moak Lake Campsite. Such a cool spot to be parked. Like... What on earth? Oh, the sun's finally peeking out too, which is nice to see. But, oh, we've got some bird friends hanging out. Need to get some stuff organised and then get ready to head back on the road. It's beautiful. With the oh, oh, this is so cool. Look at that view that is madness i've had to do 0.5 cameras so i can actually capture some of these mountains fuck it's freezing though but it's so gorgeous oh my god like that shot there is just ace the waterfall down the back there i don't know if you can see it holy fuck it's cold Water looks delectable. I can't walk on this thing, it's so wobbly. Oh, it's so yeah, I know. I look absolutely ridiculous right now, but we're currently wandering up towards Lake Marion. But check out how cool this is. It's like rapids. So beautiful, it's going really fast up there. This is what we're currently hiking. It's really pretty through here. Um, it's really cold. Today's meant to be a high of almost like five or six degrees. This is ridiculous. But oh well, it's really pretty. And uh, we're getting exercise, so we're not too cold, thankfully. Yet. Hell yeah. This is sick. Wow, this is way prettier than I expected. Oh, big step. Holy crap. Okay, what the actual hell? We've just woken up and we've just died of laughter. Oh my gosh, look! We've just died of laughter because it's snowing outside and we've never seen snow before. Like, we, we saw snow yesterday, but... <laughs> <laughs> wow, it looks incredibly pretty, but it wasn't forecast to snow. This is actually insane. It looks so pretty. I'm just 
hoping we're going to still be able to make it to our cruise today because this wasn't expected to happen. Well, this really cool um, water filter from, from Life Drop, and it's actually the first time I've gone to use it. Um, so we've just gotten some water like straight from the river. It's probably safe enough to drink, but I'm not really keen on chancing it. Um, you can just see it slowly filling up, which is so cool. It just means it can be more off grid, you know. I've um, already filled up this, so that's pretty cool. Fresh water river. Um, and we are making dinner. I've had to hide dinner from the birds because it keeps nibbling away, but I've just made like a Massaman curry, or at least an Australianized version of Massaman curry. And this is what we're enjoying right now. Pretty damn scenic. I just love that waterfall up there, like, how incredible. I mean, even if when you go to the toilet, it's like, oh, I've got to go to the toilet. Check that out. So sick. Sack kitchen as well. When you hire one of the juicy vans, you get a sink. It's a bit dirty because I've got stuff in there to clean. You get this little tray where it can hold plates and bowls. Um, I've got like salt and pepper as well in there. Um, some spices. And then in this one here, it's got like drawer for the cutlery and then in here we've got all of our like food and gas storage we're probably not meant to be storing the gas like that but anyway Dometic fridge which this one works the last one was a piece of shit to be honest with you and then got a little gas cooker just currently boiling some water don't need to open that too honest. currently boiling some water so we can have a nice cup of Coffee and hot chalky. Yeah, this isn't, isn't a bad spot to hang out for a few days. What's this camp called? Justin? Cascade Creek. Cascade Creek. That's Justin. <laughs> this morning we did the Milford Sound cruise and it was so cool. It was so beautiful. Um, it was really awesome watching helicopters and stuff fly around and some like little um, scenic airplanes zooming around, which was really beautiful like I was we were saying we got FOMO from not getting to do that but oh well, we still got to do the cruise I think we paid about I think it was like 75 or something Australian dollars um, that's because we did get a $50 juicy voucher um, from hiring the juicy van and they work with a company so that was pretty handy to get a nice little $50 discount because it's normally about I think it's 99 New Zealand dollars which is still pretty decent I think for what it is um, I think we we're cruising for about I want to say an hour and 45 and they took us around to like different waterfalls different scenic points um, yeah I think the first part of it's probably the prettiest and then seeing out towards the ocean as well is pretty incredible like I I don't really know I hadn't really done a lot of research into it but um, yeah it's pretty cool so recommend um, just even the drive there is so beautiful like we hadn't even seen snow before this morning so it's pretty cool to see snow and to I guess experience all of this it's been good I have to make my way all the way up there This down here is the town of Wanaka. It really looks so far away now. I think we're about 1200 meters up, something like that. But yeah, this view is pretty incredible. We should head up to the peak, which is 
all the way up there. If you can see that little white pole. If you can see that. That's the peak. But um, it's another 30 minutes of hiking up that. And we've got to still go all the way down there. Which is an absolute mission. We concluded our three week trip by driving across Arthur's Pass and of course stopped at a few gems along the way. We dropped the van off in Christchurch and then boarded our flight back to Melbourne. If you're considering hiring one of the juicy vans, I highly recommend doing so. It's an awesome way to explore New Zealand. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Stay tuned for my upcoming adventures.